looks like I have enough fun here for about a five minute video. Uh, I found my old uh, Sony DSC P32 uh, in my car. Well, the car I was driving for the past seven, eight months. So, uh, and it had a 128 meg uh, stick in it, it seems. So that gives me enough time for a five minute movie. No, six minute movie, but video, whatever. So, I thought I'd give it a spin. As you can see, it's pretty dark uh, in my uh, in here because the light filter on it, uh, light sensor, it doesn't uh, have the same ISO, I guess, as the rest of the thing because of the, how many frames per second it needs to do. So, if I still have it in my pocket, which I do, I have my handy dandy LED light. So, let's show you what happened here so far. Uh, right now, I pretty much switched to uh, the dual Opteron board that I got. It's a dual socket 940. Uh, I've dropped in my HD 5670 into the first PCIe slot. Uh, the board itself is a Tyan brand uh, K8WE S2877. Uh, you can look it up. I got it off eBay for about 35 bucks with uh, two Optron 265s on it and these two uh, thermal take heat sinks because I've taken the fan grills off because it pretty much stunted uh, airflow. Uh, this Optron right here, I did pop the integrated heat sink off. If you do have an, uh, uh, an Optron or other like, like socket 754, 939, 940 chip of that era, I would highly suggest popping off the integrated heat sink because underneath is thermal compound. This thermal compound, now because it's five or six years old or even seven years old in some cases, is actually starting to degrade. And when that degrades, the thermal performance uh, degrades. So you pop that off, you put some, uh, I don't know, uh, Arctic Silver 5 underneath or Arctic Silver Ceramic, Ceramic 2, uh, Prolimitech PK1. MX4, whatever the hell you have uh, lying around, you put that underneath, and you're pretty much set. I'll say it straight out, you're pretty much set. You put that underneath, put the cap back on, and put the heat sink back on with some thermal compound on top, and it'll run like 5, 10 degrees cooler, uh, depending on the heat sink that you have. Uh, the one thing that you have on odor for this is a new case. I'm getting an Inwin Mana 134, 137, something like that. I'm getting it off of uh, Newegg. I paid 45 bucks for it. It was originally 75, 78, something like that. Uh, and it's a hell of a lot better. The hard drives are mounted uh, at 90 degrees, so they're all facing this way. The hard drive would be right here instead of over here. Uh, there's enough space to fit this board, plus some extra space in between so I can fit like an 8800GT or so. I might do the SLI in this case because they're both single slot. Uh, I've got in this board right now, Oh, hello. 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 Oh, hello. Hello, how's it going? What's he doing? Oh. Okay, okay. Away from the computer. I don't need cat. Oh, come on, come on. I don't need cat hairs over here. Anyway, what I've got over here in here is 12 gigs of RAM. I have a very nice fluffy cat over here. Yes, his name is Ashes. Hi, Ashes. Oh. Uh, there's the other two over here. Two, three, four, five, six. They're all two gig uh, ECC RAM uh, sticks. Uh, I got them off of eBay from uh, seller Save My Server. I bought parts from them before. I bought two uh, 146 gig IBM hard drives for 12 bucks each. Not a bad deal, especially considering that if you buy more than one of anything or you buy anything besides that one and anything else, the second and third and fourth and whatever else item are a buck ninety nine uh uh extra for shipping instead of like five bucks. So it's a great deal. So I got these for eleven bucks for two for four gigs. So that's about thirty three bucks. And then for shipping I think I paid around I, I guess it came out to about forty two, forty five bucks. That's not a bad deal at all. Depending uh considering the age of the of the RAM itself. Uh, it's from an actual reputable, uh, it's actually reputable uh, memory, it's uh, a, I don't know what brand that is, it's like AP or something, ADP or something like that, it's, it's reputable in, in the least. 
Cayenne uh, specifically said that these sticks were uh, going to work for these for this board. I actually did contact them because the sticks that I found were a few numbers off at the end. And Tyann said it shouldn't matter, they should uh, work fine as long as they have the same ICs. I had to look it up, up the ICs and stuff for them, and uh, they worked fine. So Tyann is good about that. They will tell you that. I'm running short here, I've got about 30 seconds left, so I'm going to say everything else in the case is pretty much the same. I saw the wireless card in here, this and that. The Tyann board, though, has dual gigabit Ethernet down there. If you take a look, it came with its own uh, backplate. Uh, I do have that set up. I have this set up going on over here. I've got my Powered 2300 on right now for doing some shit, and I'm making it work. Uh, I'm probably going to have to update this. I don't know. We'll see. But until next time, have a blast.